Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Azure Service Fabric users encounter. Our viewer has been working with Azure Service Fabric for the past four months and is now looking to enhance their logging capabilities. They ask, how can they add an application insight key to an existing Service Fabric cluster? Let's break this down and explore the steps to achieve a unified logging infrastructure using application insights. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now let's continue on. To add application insights to your existing Azure Service Fabric cluster, we first need to gather the application insights instrumentation key. This key is essential for tracking and logging data. Next, we will update the Service Fabric application to include the Application Insights SDK. This can be done by adding the necessary NuGet packages to your project. After installing the SDK, we need to configure it in the application. This involves modifying the startup class to include Application Insights services and setting the instrumentation key. Finally, deploy your updated application to the Service Fabric cluster. Once deployed, you should start seeing telemetry data in your Application Insights resource. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To add application insights to an existing Azure Service Fabric cluster, start by opening Cloud Explorer in Visual Studio 2017. Next, expand the virtual machine scale sets and locate the scale set for your Service Fabric cluster. Right-click on Update Diagnostics and in the dialog, check Send Diagnostics to Application Insights. Add your Application Insights instrumentation key, then click OK. You may encounter an error, but don't worry, the settings will still be there. To apply the new settings, go to the Azure portal, select All Resources, and open the Virtual Machine Scale Set. Finally, restart the scale set to apply the changes. A deallocate followed by a restart worked for me, but be cautious with deallocation. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Adding application insights to an existing Azure Service Fabric cluster isn't straightforward at the moment. The support is still in preview and requires two NuGet packages. You'll need to update your cluster to the latest version. For more details, check the GitHub repository that provides guidance on using Service Fabric with Application Insights. The two NuGet packages are for native reliable services and for guest executable or container services. Until the official repo is ready, you can refer to another repository for manual integration.
And that's it, guys. We've gone through, found the solutions, and hopefully answered your query. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, hope you have a good one. Cheers.